Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to create a Django app. To create a web app in Django, it is a best practice to group our code together into apps. A Django app is just a folder containing Python files, as opposed to like a web application which is like a fully fledged application that users interact with. But in the world of Django, apps they um, refer to certain pieces of our code that when combined or grouped all of them when they are put together they're going to create a web application so let's go to terminal first off i'm going to cd into the meeting planner so i'm going to say cd meeting planner so now that we are within the meeting planner i'm going to start our application so I'm going to say Python. Now this is a new application. Therefore, we're going to say Python manage.py start app. And then what is the name of the app? I'm just going to call it website. Let's just hit enter. Uh, oops. Uh, I'm going to clear. Now you need to have your virtual environment activated. So I'm going to say pip and shell. There we go. Virtual environment is activated. I'm going to clear this and I'm going to say Python manage.py startup website. Now, uh, okay, you need to CD into that as well. Let's say CD meeting planner. You have to be within this meeting planner to have access to this manage.py. Let me just show it in here as well. So you have this meeting planner. Within the meeting planner, you have that manage.py. So you don't have to go two levels deep, just one level deep. One level within the first meeting planner. Then you have the manage.py uh, file. So from there, now, then you can say manage.py startup. What is the name of the app? Website. It does, it's not going to have any result. I'm setting our app to website because I want to add an app that will contain ge general pages for my website, such as a welcome page, a contact page, an about page, etc. That's why I'm calling this particular app a website. Now, this command has created for us a directory called website. Within this directory, we have a folder uh, called migrations. So aside from the uh, init.py and the and the init.py file and the views.py file, I'm going to remove all other files, including the migrations folder. Now the functionality of these files, they those that functionality will be covered later in this section. So I'm just going to come in here within the website. Aside from this init and views, I'm just going to click on those and I'm going to say invert selection. I'm going to grab all of them and I'm going to basically remove it. So now within there, we just have init.py and we have the views. The init.py files function is just to mark this folder as a package, Python package. And within the views.py, uh, we're going to write the actual code for our web application. Now, we need to make sure that the code that we write in this file, in this views.py file, can be seen and run by Django. So therefore, we are going to go to the settings uh, file, and in there, we are going to add another app in here. What is the name of the app? It is website, and uh, don't forget the trailing comma. So when you just uh, add it in here, now our app is installed as a part of our project. I'm going to go over this concept one more time. In the previous lecture, we created a project. We started a project. Each project, each Django project to be specific, contains several applications. So we have an application for the admin, for authentication, content types, sessions, messages, static files, and another app which we just created is website. So a Django application, a Django project contains several applications. Why do we need several several applications? Because it is a best practice to group uh, the code for any specific part of the Django project. With this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.